Hello guys, Strong Boys 19 here. So, I'm going to be asking you guys another music related question since I still feel quite inspired to think of some more different type of content in terms of the music side of things. Besides that I will have to think about doing other types of videos throughout this year and the usual stuff will continue on. But that's beside the point. Um, I want to know which selection of albums do you think are underrated classics? Now, this does mean that there are some albums that are in discographies that don't get enough praise or recognition or as much acclaim as the fans hoped they would, or some of the critics love them but you hate them, or the critics hate them that you love them. So, I have got quite a couple or few more than a couple albums in that type of category. So underrated classics. And I want to know what your uh, picks for underrated classics are in the comments below. And I'm very curious to know which albums from any discography from a solo artist or a band that is your favourite. First of all, for me, the first one has to be Kraftwerk's Electric Cafe, well, normally known as Techno Pop. The reason why this is an underrated classic is that I really didn't think of it at first as Kraftwerk's uh, great album follow up to their classic album from 1981 called Computer World. And despite the difficulty from the development of this album, I thought of it at first as a very, you know, much more bland and not as. Uh, unique as the previous three albums that are Computer World, Trans Europe Express and The Man Machine and it didn't do justice but the more I kept listening to it I find the simplicity of it to be uh, like a big grower for me especially with tracks like Boing Boom Chak, the title track Techno Pop and the single of the album Music Non-Stop and I really like the telephone call a lot with Carl Bartos on vocals. And I like the melody of it as well. And um, I really do love the last track of the album, Electric Cafe. It's probably like uh, quite, I would say, not very funky, but it has like a um, funky type of sound from the keyboard tone. But uh, I really do think that Electric Cafe or Technopop, whatever you want to call it, is one of the, the best underrated albums. And the second one that I would like to share is Can's Soon Over Babaluma. And this is the follow-up to uh, one of the band's classic albums, Future Days, which is more of um, a crowd rock ambient type of style album. I really do find that the material on this album to be, yes, carrying on some more of the the experimentalism, crowd rocky sound. It is not as like hugely abrasive or as like uh, quite wild like Targo Margo from that album's uh, more avant garde and uh, music concrete sound, especially the second half of that album, or as strong as Egibam Yassi, which is um, an album that is to me one of Khan's best albums. But it has more of like a, a heavier, tighter structured sound. But I still couldn't believe that I prefer Soon Over Babaluma more than Egibam Yassi. Well, just a tiny tad bit more. I find some of the material on this album to be even more of um, like a looser, but like a free type of spacious sound. And of course, there is some ambience on here, but there are other styles on the album that is continuing on the crowd rock phase, you know, with some very unique musicianship, even without Damo's departure, I think can pull it off really well with some really cool sounds, and I think this is an underrated classic album. Now, this is an album that I would still consider to be, like, the most notoriously divided double album or album at all from any solo artist and I know that I said that I won't talk about it again 
but it has to be mentioned here, and that is Metal Machine Music by Lou Reed. And I know it has been regarded still to this day as one of the worst albums of all time, but the reason why I do think it's an underrated classic, it is because that there was no other musician like Lou Reed himself that would, you know, make an album like this, since he did have an admiration of feedback, especially from some of the Velvet Underground's tracks like Sister Ray, I Heard Her Call My Name, to The Gift, European Sun, and I think that Metal Machine Music was a unique experiment for what it is, and even though that it is not one of those albums that I would play constantly, but it is one of my favourite albums of all time, and it became a huge impactful release for future generations of musicians to come that became inspired in the noise genre, especially with Sonic Youth's guitar player Thurston Moore, who is a fan of this album. And this pioneered the genre of noise experimental stuff as a whole. If you still hate it, that's fine by me. But it is, to me, a really interesting yet uh, uncompromising, challenging sound. And the last underrated classic that, you know, some people would dismiss it as one of his best albums. But I really do love the album because of its simplicity and the overall laid-back, calm sound, and that is Bob Dylan's Nashville Skyline. And some Dylan fans really didn't cite this as one of his best albums at all, but I think that it is. Of course, you get to tracks like Lay Lady Lay, Tonight I'll Be Staying Here With You, too. The countrified version of his classic track, Girl From The North Country, with Johnny Cash. But um, I really do think Nashville Skyline is Dylan's happiest sounding album, and I love the the overall gentle tone, especially from Dylan's own country croon vocal style, and I like the production on here as well. So it isn't one of those albums that rarely gets um, you know a lot of high praise because you know some Dylan fans don't cite it as a strong album, you know, like some of the earlier stuff, like Blonde on Blonde, Highway 61 Revisited, uh, Free Wheeling, Times the Arrow Changing, and even some of the latest stuff, like Blood on the Tracks, for example. Um, but I think Nashville Skyline is one of Dylan's best albums, and it is one of my favourites alone. I, I could think of more albums that I would consider to be, you know, underrated classics. But uh, if I could think of any more, I will make another video. So I would let you guys decide which albums do you think are underrated classics in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will keep you guys posted for more videos in the near future.